Elephantry E Podcast! Hello, and welcome back to the Elephant Tree Podcast, guys. So today, I decided I'm not going to be reviewing all the JCHS stuff, because I want to do that with some of my JCHS friends. So instead, this episode's going to be me um, going through my old stories from college. So that's fun, because in college, I did not direct my own film so I didn't write something then direct it I didn't even direct anything actually um I'm gonna be going through like all the stories I can find I still have access to my college account so I'm able to see my old stories so I decided you know what today I'm gonna tell you all the ones I could find if I can't find any and I do find them later on I'll do a special episode on those so yeah, this is going to be everything, so enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so first off, we have... So this is no particular order, okay? No particular order. So first off, Simon and the Rowing Boat. Um, Alright. Drink ready. Mm. Alright. It was a sad day for poor old Simon... Had been a month since his father sadly passed away, so Simon wanted to prove his father's claim that the world isn't round is false. So, Simon went to the boat where he and his father loved going on every Sunday. He then sailed off on his quest. Whilst he was rowing, he came across a man in the sea. So, he rowed over to see if he was alright. The man was still alive and Simon helped him onto the boat in which a man asked Simon why he was out at sea all alone, to which Simon replied by saying, I've always wondered if the earth was flat. (laughs) At first, the man laughed and then said, Oh, Simon, I can show you that the world is flat. (laughs) So, Simon says, Okay, show me. Uh, then Then he takes out a magic stick from his coat pocket and pressed the handle over the boat and flipped it over. Once the boat was flipped over, everything was two-dimensional. Both Simon and the man had dark shaded lines around their bodies, and Simon was shocked and ecstatic. He said, wow, I'm a cartoon character. Simon sets out on a quest to prove the world is flat, so he meets the man called Tom McAllister, who has a magic stick that can take him to a world where everything is 2D. Uh, however, once he enters the world upon, enters upon the world, the leader called Bellatrix McEvil wants to kill Simon because 3D people aren't allowed in a 2D world. So she sends in the crocodiles called the Crocups to chase both Simon and Tom. As Simon and Tom are on the run from the Crocups, they come across a batch of characters along the way, such as Betty the Waterboat Racer and Bruce the surfer. Now, Tom needs to get Simon home by taking him to a volcanic island that has a special portal that can take him back to the 3D world. So, that was a story that I did. So, I'm going to show the others. (laughs) So, I hope you enjoyed that one and look forward to the others. Right, so here is another story. This one is called Lewis, a filmmaker's story. So this story is about, it's about a young man named Lewis who has just finished university and wants to become a filmmaker. So he decides to start his career by entering the short film competition. Um, however, his family are, dis- are in disgust because they want him to be a hairdresser. And so, bas- so basically, so Lewis leaves home and starts practicing making short films by making YouTube videos. But YouTube is on its last legs. So, Lewis has to get a job in order to buy equipment and make his short film before the deadline, whilst his family try to stop him from making his short film. So that's the story of that. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit shorter, but I did try to find like a longer version, but I couldn't which is, you know, not the best. 
so there is another story which I don't think I have named. If I have, I'll I'll try and find it, and I'll probably put in text like what it is. But this is about. So this story is about an old lady named Josephina, who loves to cook. But her equipment is taken by her ex-husband as she is, has to get her equipment back from her ex before he cooks himself a cheese potato. <laughs> it ends with her ex being executed by a kitchen knife by the hands of Josephina. That's all I've written. <laughs> yeah, it sounds standard, but before he cooks himself a cheese potato, it's like, what? Yeah. Ay ay ay. <laughs> um there oh yeah, there's another one, uh, which is unnamed, but it's set in space. So there's an astronaut that likes only two things in life going to space and eating chips from McDonald's. His goal is to build a McDonald's on the moon so that he can live in harmony. Um there is another one. Um, there's another one after that, but I'm going to save that because that is a very special one. But this one doesn't have a name, but, uh, it's a, all right, this one is, uh, ah. so I'm going to say it now. I hope you can't hit my brother downstairs because he's been annoying. <laughs> so there was once this girl that lived in a creepy mansion. It was so creepy, in fact, that whenever she woke up from her sleep, she would scream. This annoyed her parents so much one day that they kicked her out of the house and the family died, except the girl. <laughs> but that's the story. Um, all right, so there's another one, um, just titled Theme, okay? Th that's not the actual title. There was a story so interesting to this one little boy that he took the book everywhere he went this made the boy extremely happy, but there are a bunch of bullies that hate people who are different. And that's the story, I guess. <laughs> okay, there's another one. So there's a lovely teardrop that was always wet, but he wanted to become solid. His name is Liquidosh, and he is brave and ambitious. He wants to venture upon the Antarctica to reach his goal. So that's that. Um... <laughs> So those are some ideas, so I'm gonna, yep, oh hang on, there's more, there's more. So other ideas, a film about a goat that is the emperor of Tridonia. He hates being king, as so he sells his throne to a homeless man because he is a generous goat. Um... Radio play concerns Jake, Jake Paul, who was in trouble by social media because he annoys his neighbours by doing stupid things in front of his 12-year-old fan base. Well, that's just factual, isn't it? Um, right, okay. So, short sci-fi story, okay. So, it revolves around Siri, a phone app man that loves to talk to people. So, he exits the phone and goes to Mars. Why? <laughs> um yeah okay so that's it for now so i'll show you more i'll show you guys more right so other ideas here we go film pitch title the life of shun so the film is about the life of a broken shoe um, it's about a broken shoe called Shun, who was an ordinary shoe until a teenage boy came and cut a big hole so that instead of walking, he just has a big mouth, but he doesn't like it. A day goes by and Shun still isn't liking his new look as he goes to see a doctor in which he patches him up. Shun then goes down in a dark alley in, in which he comes across the same boy who cut him a year prior with his mates and went up to Shun. Um, yeah, so they started talk, taking apart Shun, but Shun couldn't stand for it. So when the boy who originally cut him started telling, started cutting 
him up with the knife. Shun, wait, 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 wait. Shun, wha no, Shun whacks it out of his hand and manages to beat the entire gang. So finally, there's a message at the end of the film saying, if you ever get into a situation like in school or anything, that, like that, defend yourself and don't let any prick bring you down. And the genre is a drama, so... There's another film idea. It's about a group of fluffy unicorns that become a gang. A group of three fluffy unicorns, Stefan, Joe and Mark, live in a fun fair. However, they don't like it there, so they band together to become the toughest gang in town. They do this by fighting other gangsters. However, once they had beaten up every gangster in town, they form a mob. After forming the mob, they decide to go to the local college to rob some laptops so they can plan a future heist. And then I did another one, which was a remake of Film Pitchery, because I only had to do three pitches. I'm done save the first one, which is the best one until I last. So this one's called Murder Mystery in the Old West. In the old town of St. Old Mill, on September 21st, 1871, there was a mass murder, a uh, mass murder caused, um, oh, a ma the, um, there was a mass murder caused a cowboy called the Dark Lord, call, yeah, he is called that because he always dresses in black and you can't really see his face. <laughs> uh, after the innocent incident occurred, the police came come to investigate, but they couldn't find any clues. This is when we meet our, prota our protagonist called Joel, who is the town mascot. His goal is to find out who the Dark Lord is and bring him to justice. So, yeah, <laughs> those are some of my other ideas. And, yeah, they were just crazy ideas. So, yeah, I'm going to go on to probably next is the big two. Yeah, the big two ideas. So, yeah. All right, here come uh, the final um, short film ideas I've had in college. Um, yeah, I'm in my uni accommodation now, so... Um, yes, I'll be doing my podcast episodes in here. Um, before I really get into, like, the last two, which are the main ones, I want to give some shout-out to ones where I could only find, like, a little description of. Um, so, here we go. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've already talked about Liquidosh. Um, the Journey to Solidarity, I've already done that one. Uh, there is Buina, the ghost, and the ghost child. Um, yeah, so the description says, like, our target audience, purpose, and platform. So it's literally, it's nothing that's really useful other than, well, it is a horror. Yeah, and it's for people age 18 and plus, and it can be seen by teenagers that are mature. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's that, and then there's Jif and the Land of Food. Um, <laughs> right, um, the audience is like, yeah, I put, I put my audience down as like ages 5 to 17 is primary and secondary 18 plus. So it's like, like, you know, with like Disney films, they can be, they're mainly for kids, but like people older can watch them as well. Um, yeah, there's not much on there. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to have to go back into my folder because I've... Um, it's going to be for... Uh, what do we do with a drunk person? Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, what do we do with a drunk person? Which is um, the short film idea, my main one for my second year. At college. So. Uh, this is my order. Yep. There we go. So as I'm saying. Like all of this. I'm going to probably have some. The text be on the side. And all that. And editing. And all that. So what do we do with a drunk person? Uh, got the mood boards and plot summary. So. The plot summary is. 
Josiah is the most drunk man in town, so the town police ship him off to a deserted island with only just food and water for three weeks. However, when he looks around the beach, he finds a bowl of rum washed ashore in which he starts drinking it. Uh, let's see. Then three animals come out of the forest and attack Josiah, as humans aren't allowed on the island. However, when Josiah tells them about the rum, they let him live. Then they go and get drunk, and when they get drunk, they hallucinate and have weird animations going through their heads. Uh, let's see. Uh, after getting drunk, they sing a song called What Do We Do With A Drunk Person? Which is a parody of the song What Do We Do With A Drunken Sailor? And finally, um, three weeks pass by, and back in town, the police decide to hire some pirates to bring Josiah back home in exchange for a lifetime supply of rum. When the pirates arrive on the beach, they're surprised to see that Josiah is hanging out with some animals. And then a fight ensues between the pirates and animals, in which Josiah sits in there having some more rum. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all that's on there. Obviously, could be expanded a little bit more. Um... But yeah, I actually, I actually really do want this to become like an elephant tree production, because like, I can just imagine how much fun it would be filming with like uni friends and all that. So if any of you, you guys are watching, um, do you want to make what do you do with a drunk person? Because I know we're working on like a few things right now, like uh, the upcoming films, like the Assam movie. There's also Ben the Liberator of Swans, um, which is a five-episode mini-series. Um, yeah, so, and finally, uh, the final one, which is probably... I know, the, but what do you do with Drunk Person is my favourite one, but this is my original one. Uh, my main idea for my first year of uni. It's called, at the time, it was called Prickly Loss of the Pricks. So... <sighs> Prickly Lost the Pricks, what's about? Well, it's about this cactus called Prickly, and he really wants to, like, get his pricks removed, because it's always, like, causing problems, like, and he gets annoyed, like, how he's always, like, stinging himself. That was not an idea, that was the only thing I've just made up now. But he just wants to get his pricks removed, so he goes to a local hairdresser, a human hairdresser, called Kem, and he trims off his pricks, and then um, Prickly goes back to his Prickly village or wherever, and he gets bullied for not having any pricks. So Kem goes with him, just to make sure he's alright, and, you know, Prickly is just sitting down, he's crying, he's like, I'm getting bullied, and all that stuff. And then Kem puts his arm around Prickly, and he says the most inspirational thing to Prickly. Don't let any prick bring you down. And this makes Prickly much happier. And that's where the story ends. I know I did another draft where there's like some crazy mayor that wants to get rid of Prickly and all that. Um, but I, I don't know. Um, I do want to make... I have been... The plan last year was to make it into like a little book. But I don't know about that now. Um, so I might make an audio drama or something from it, and you never know, one day it might become a reality, a reality film and all, all that. So, right, so that's all I have to say for today, hope you guys enjoyed this, um, interesting, I hope, um, ETP podcast. And for, I know, like, last episode I said that this episode was going to be me reviewing all the JCHS productions. But I'm not doing that right now. I'm going to do that with my college friends because we're all a JCHS team. Uh, so, hope you guys... So, I'm trying to do that whenever. I, I'm not going to guarantee what the next episode is going to be about. But other than that... Hope you enjoyed this episode and see you guys very soon.